Evening guys. I know it's been a while since I did a dream journal, but it's because I haven't had any dreams I've remembered really. Um, this is dream journal part five though. And I'll go back to um, one of my first real dreams that I can remember. Um, we had just moved um, and my parents gave me the back bedroom um, at the end of this really long hallway. At least it seemed long when I was a kid. Um, and I, I had a really bad habit of waking up at like midnight every night um, on the dot. And I was dying of thirst. So I would go to the kitchen and, you know, chug milk, chug orange juice, chug water, whatever was available. Um, but then the thirstiness ended up turning into something else where I would open my eyes. I'd still wake up at midnight, but there would be this family standing in my bedroom door. Um, they never said anything. Uh, they didn't really move per se as in, you know, how we're animated. We move our hands, we talk, we move our heads, blah, blah, blah. They just stood there like statues and stared. And I would get so scared that I would pull my, my, my quilt up over my head. Um, but this continued to happen every night. Um, at least it seemed like it when I was a kid and the family was inching closer to me. Um, so every night I woke up, they were a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Finally, they were so close. They were right beside the bed that I was really scared. And I told my mom about the dream. And funny thing is, after I told her about it, I never had it again. Of course, you know, as a kid, she let me sleep with her for, for a little while. And there's a dream that'll come there. But that's all for tonight, guys. Bye.